Date control in Google Data Studio allows your users to pick the right date for their reporting and analysis. If you are interested in learning how to use date control in Google Data Studio, then this video is for you. If you're ready, let's dive in. In Google Data Studio, open the report that you want to place the date control on. Go on the top menu and click on add a control, scroll down and pick date range control. Once you have that selected, place it on your report where you want the date range to appear. Now this date range control will allow your users to pick the date range they want to see the data for. You have to keep two things in mind when using date range control. One, the underlying data source should have a date dimension. If the data source does not have a date dimension, then date range control won't work. Second, all the charts that are set to date range of auto are the only ones that are going to be affected by the selection of the dates in this date range control. If a chart is set to custom date range, then it won't be impacted by any date selection in this control. All these charts here have the default date range set to auto. Let's click here and you can see the default date range is set to auto. Click on this chart and here you can see it's set to auto as well. I'm going to change this to custom and we'll leave it at 14 days. Now when I view this chart and change the date on this control, this chart won't be impacted. However, other charts that are set to date range of auto will be impacted by the date changes in this control. Now go ahead and click on view. Click on the date control and let's go ahead and pick this year. Go ahead and apply it. You'll notice that this chart remained the same while other charts are now showing the data for the whole year. Now let's go to the next page of this report. All this data on the other pages of the report won't be affected by the date that you picked in this control. In order for you to apply the date range control to all the pages, click on edit and right click on the control and make it report level. Now, this date range control will apply to all the pages in this report. Go ahead and click on view. Click on the date control and let's go ahead and change to last 30 days. Go ahead and apply it. Now the chart is getting refreshed. Go to the next report. And here you can see that date range got applied as well. Go to the next report. And here you can see that as well. So all the charts on any of these pages that are set to auto date range will get this date range applied. So that's it. This is how you use the date range control in Google Data Studio and give your users more control over the reports that they see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for me, letting me know your thoughts on this video. If you have other topics that you want me to cover in my videos, then make sure to mention those in your comment. I will see you in the next video.